Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League Season 2022, the Tournament of Power Season 2 Playoffs Round 1. I'm your host, Dorgard, with my ever-loving co-host, J-Man. Hello, everybody. We are in Episode 4, the final episode of this week, and those that are watching in the stream, the final two matches, Undisputed Lee in West City Mets and Ginyu Force in Mystery, Inc., uh, I would highly, highly recommend watching all of the episodes this week um, and putting your favorite moments down under those episodes because a lot of awesome stuff happened, some crazy stuff happened. But enough talking about the past. Let's talk about now. Right now we have the Undisputed Elite in General Blue, Baby, and End Goku up against the West City Mats. It's all about the Mats. Who, of course, have our ever-loving Jace, Android 13, and Pilaf Machine. Jay, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. Yeah, not a lot to say. Uh, obviously, got a lot on this match, and both teams are, uh, you know, it's a, it's a best of one. You, you just got to go. Yeah, and we've been seeing that, uh, you know, it can be a little heartbreaking, because sometimes the best of one means they don't get another chance. Well, that's exactly what it means. But anyway, starting off with General Blue, we have attack plus two, defense minus one, Dende's healing, quick pass attack, glass cannon, and Piccolo AI against Android 13 with attack plus two, defense minus one, serious indignation, tension up, Dende's healing, and TNAI. So I think there is a soft cap for both pluses and minuses, and I think General Blue's at the soft cap for minus. Oh, is he? Yeah. He's with glass cannon, and he has attack plus two, and he has natural defense minus. So he, he's basically, he can't take any less or take any more. Right. Yeah. He <laughs> already uh, taking a bar. He is not doing too hot. And he, he just needs to get some offense on. His team's not expecting him to do a ton. Uh, he's a cannon fodder member at heart. So just <laughs> whatever he can do, that's all that his team needs. Yeah, pretty much. And, you know, they're get, he's getting real low all quick, like, but I'll shoot you. Has not even broken past half of a bar yet. Yeah, and Android 13 has healing, so if he doesn't do some damage here, it might look like he's done nothing. Ooh, but he's the worst. Well, he's kind of proven that to be true. Well. I mean, that has to be the worst performance of the Hey, look, it's power. Vegeta. Hey, look, it's Vegeta. Baby Vegeta with Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, Fighting Spirit, Savior, Latent Energy, Dende, Healing, Sirius, and Gohan AI. So the way to think of this is uh, General Blue's their hype man. Um, this was like a tag team match where they were forced into having, you know, triple threat or having three yeah. members on each side. But they, he's, he's the hype man. He's not actually supposed to get in there. So, of course, he He's supposed to be the one that goes down first that inspires the rest of the team. Like, we got to do it for him. Well, it's normally like he squirms away in the back as like the hype man. And this time yeah. he's dragged out, pinned. Ooh, that's not good, though. No, that's healing back and more dangerous B2s. Though it's extremely good for West City Mets. Honestly, if, if you're a West City Mets fan, they need any advantage they can get because the other two members of Undisputed League have had very stellar seasons. Oh, Oof. wow. That hurt. Yeah, this is not looking great off the bat for Undisputed Elite. But I still think that they can bring this back. They have a lot yeah, of power still. They're actually doing pretty well so far. Um, they're not too far from taking 13 out and only having a small deficit. And don't forget, West City Mets has the Pilaf machine, who, uh, while being an android, does lack a little bit of that damage-wise. Mm -hmm. All right, what's going to hit? Oh, it's a clash! It's, look at how big that is, though. Oh, that's well the worst outcome, too. Yeah, that was a ton of damage, but that looked insane. 13 just refuses to go down. Oh, this is definitely worst case scenario for Undisputed Elites, but best case for West City Mets right now. Yeah, in comes Jace with Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, Launch and Support, Fighting Spirit, Savior, Kavita, Secret Art, and Frieza AI, hoping to carry the lead that 13 gave them. Yeah, this might come down to, uh, do we get a baby going off? Because, uh, that form obviously extremely strong. Oh, this will take him out, and that's it. Well, you know what? It was a valiant effort from Baby, taking out pretty much all of, the, well, actually, literally yes, all of 13. he literally took out all of 13. 
Well, more more than just a uh, normal health bar. He technically did more than a normal character between healing and the transformation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, good job, baby. Hopefully, Goku can clutch it up. Key plus two, super minus one, indignation, light body, power of rage, Kamita secret art, a Broly's ring, and Piccolo AI for Goku. So the idea, or at least what I'm predicting based off looking at this build, obviously I'm not on this team, uh, base and Goku's ult is a giant spirit ball, but it's a cutscene ult, so he's not allowed savior. So yeah. the idea here is that, you know, if, if he has max blast stocks and max key, and just charges all the way up and starts throwing those out, he's just going to take people out. He's need your smash instead. Smash. Not a bad choice. They haven't missed yet. Yeah. And he does have that uh, power of rage, which should help him in the clashes. Yeah, for sure. So he's not doing too bad against Jace here, but he's also got Pilaf. Pilaf um, will have. Oh, you know, he's gonna have an interesting time. Here, that's for sure. Goku but, with the stomp, Jesus. Yeah, he's he's fighting. He wants to win this, and uh, West City Nets got to start having some you know worries creeping up right now with how well and how poor Jace is doing. Whoa, another command man. Goku is accurate with his B2s this match. Yeah, he is going off. That's for sure. That's quite fair to say. Woo. And I think that's Goku? it. Gonna be it for Jace. What? In a... Wow. Insult to injury. Goku finishing off Jace. So now only one bar behind Pilaf. It is Pilaf. It is an android. And it is a map that benefits androids. But the yeah. amount of key on Goku makes it seem hard. Oh, Ooh, and he does nice the Gigant Rock throw. Pilaf, by the way, key plus two, super minus one, latent energy, quick fast attack, power of rage, Dende's healing, a Broly's ring, and Ginyu AI. Also, the poll was in 53, sorry, 58% of people want Undisputed Elite to win. Or at least think they will win. Yeah, I think it's I think the accurate way to say predict. I don't think they're voting on who they want to win. I think they're voting on who they think will win. Yeah, that, that's and, definitely uh, a better way of putting it. Yeah, and Goku, I mean, he's lightened up on the B2s, which is good for Pilaf, because uh, this ain't no tank Pilaf. He's also hoping to start throwing out some B2s here. Yeah, the Gigant Rock Throw. Or his Rolling Smash, which will do quite a good amount over here to Goku. Ooh, Starting to finally get a little bit lead, though. All right. Oh, I thought he was going to go back to do a Kamehameha. Rock throw misses again. Him by walking to the side, another wild sense, but the false courage. Really the paying false off courage. for Pilaf. Assault! Look at the little man go. He ain't giving up. He saw his how well his big batters were doing. He wants to finish the job for his dads. Uh oh. Gigant rock throw should hit. Yeah, I didn't think he had a wild sense charged up yet. And Pilaf, you know, I was worried that with how much Goku's spamming. He, uh, he might struggle, but like, he's doing it. He's doing really well. Absolutely, and Goku really just stopped spamming. I mean, you could say this is part of how it is with having an Android. Pilaf doesn't need to fly around to get key. He, uh, he can just hit you, and that's all he needs. Yeah. And Goku, you know, doing really good in the melee department, though. Not, not terrible. Charging up again for Meteor Smash. Oh, they both have Power of Rage. This will be even. B2 maybe gives him a slight boost. I, I can't remember. Uh, it gives like a point one. It's like technicality guess, but it's not a lot. Yeah. Well, Goku has full blast stocks, but he just hasn't been using a ton. I mean, he's been using a lot of wild sense, but True. I think Pilaf's done it. He has. Yeah. Pilaf clutching it up, honestly. That was not a decided match. So Pilaf doing really well. Obviously, when you look at Undisputed Elite, you got to look at General Blue's performance. But hey, I mean, that's that's what happens. You got to yeah. get three characters. One of them is going to be the weak link. I mean, Undisputed Elite had a great fight back there to bring it all yeah. the way to within a bar. And um, with the matchup, you definitely think it would stay closer. But Pilaf showing that he is indeed a quite, you know, valiant character in his own right. So, yeah, another team eliminated. Only one more match to go, and we have the Ginyu Force, rank six against rank 11 Mystery Inc. Our final match of the night, the final team to get eliminated this week. Are you ready? Let's get into it. It is, uh, give me a second, hold on, I gotta, you know, so many buttons to click. Yeah, there we go. There All we go. right. 
the Ginyu Force. Will they get another hurrah? Yeah, this they, is. They've uh, coming back from the dead. A lot of members that aren't actively on the Ginyu Force. <laughs> if you consider Sentai their spiritual successor, the poll is up. And we have Raccoon versus 17 to start us off. Yeah, Raccoon starting off with Sack plus 2, Defense minus 1, Dende's Healing, Sirius, Lane Energy, uh, Light Body, Master Throw, Trunks AI against 17's Attack plus 2, Defense minus 1, Sirius, Light Body, Eternal Life, Majin Buu AI. Interesting that they're not going for a super build. Um, totally yeah, fine. On, it's... I think he's been on melee all season, actually. So they were, uh, we're going to pick 17 and we're going to do something different, which is cool. Yeah. You know, no, that's totally. the point of uh, Term of Power. Try other things. Absolutely. I didn't mean to point that out as even a bad thing, because I think 17 is good at melee in his own right. Uh, and since he's an android, he'll just charge up in the background and throw out those B2s when he can, and they do a ton of damage. Yeah, his B2s will still chunk, just not the normal, you know, 8k, 10k that we're used to. More like 6k on the 2 bar, maybe 5k, obviously more closer to 8k on the 3. But they're still yes. good B2s, and they'll still help sprinkled in. But yeah, this is kind of a brawl between the two starting off. Yeah, and 17 really needs to get an early lead for them because although Supreme Kai isn't terrible, they also have Chi-Chi who has not been the strongest member. I mean, she's not been like, you know, well, dead stat, weight, but... Well, stat-wise, she's a defense minus character, so ideally you don't want to have to make her do a lot of heavy lifting in a match like this. Yes. So, quite a divisive lead so far, uh, but you could tag... Or he could explode oh, too. Let him, let him pose. I respect it. Oh, maybe not a great idea. Gets the key minus, but his melee character is not the biggest deal. Come flash probably won't hit. Yeah. Yeah, just one or two grabs, and uh, it'll be quite the other way. Yeah, here we go. Uh oh, there's one. Gonna even it up. Ouch. When I said this was a brawl between the two, I was not lying. Just when you think one gets a lead, the other one just gets a combo, and it's right back. Yeah, no, they both have a ton of burst damage potential. Uh, 17 looking to take out Raccoon before he tags. He did switch Goldo. I don't know if that was to tag or just Yeah, it was to yeah. tag, but he was unable to get out, so Goldo will have to finish off 17. Um, yeah, Goldo. Goldo, defense plus two, attack minus one, Dende ceiling, exquisite skill, fighting spirit, launch support, Chiaotsu AI. Will 17 tag, or will he do uh, an ultimate? Oh, whoa! Oh, that hit! Hit behind him? They they both had to stand and figure out what was going on. <laughs> no, so yeah, he like, vanished uh, uh, attacked in front of him, and the way it hit, oh. like, launched him and made the camera weird, because vanish attacks teleport the character. But yeah, there you go, Goldo took out 17! Goldo, better than 17 confirmed. Uh, Supreme Kai, Key Plus One, Fighting Spirit, Indignation, Savior, Dragon Power, Broly's Ring, and Krillin AI. Yeah, he's, uh, and uh, according to somebody here in the stats, or, uh, you know, even though there's not stats, somebody in the chat saying 17 was the highest averaging character in the lead so far, so, uh, him going down early is very good for the gaming force, but Goldo is just getting slapped by Supreme Kai. He did not like your comments earlier, J-Man. Apparently not. I, you know what? I pissed him off. Um, you pissed a lot of people off with your comments in terms of commentating person today. You know what? I do. I do. But I, I just speak what happens. The universe wills it. I just follow what the universe wants. Uh, well, I mean, it's been the opposite of what happens. Every time you said the ult would miss, my man, it's uh, turned around. Curled in a different way to just to defy you. Just to defy me personally, to screw me over, to make me look bad. I understand, game. I understand. Now, Goldo's been one of the more taggy people in the league, too, this season. So I would not be surprised to see him get out early, just because that's just kind of what he does. Kind of like King Vegeta in the main league, you know, where he's just like, I lost some health. I don't want to be here anymore, no matter how much rock health that throw. is. Do we have three characters who throw rocks? Uh, yeah. I peel off Goldo right there. Yeah. I was just trying to think of the third. Does... Uh, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but there's probably one. Does Rayleigh do it? Yes, but she's not in turn of the power. Oh, right. She's but, banned yeah, for being okay. too good. Uh, look at Goldo go. He's fighting back. 
He's not done with this match yet. 17 will not be his only victim, or at least hoped he's not. But Supreme Kai has been holding a commanding lead so far, so it is going to be hard for Kobo because, uh, yeah, there we go. Shockwave. Uh, do they both have exquisite skill? Uh, it's, no, Supreme Kai does not have exquisite skill. Okay, so those last half as long because Goldo does. Oh, what happens? Oh, Whoa! Oh, right, well. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate for the G-Man. Does, does he have power rage? Uh, Goldo does not have power No, I power know Goldo rage. doesn't. I didn't know oh, sorry, Supreme Kai has dragon power. Okay, yeah, because he's won every clash, and it's helped him a lot here, and, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Chiaotzu. So you could do Chiaotzu, Pilaf, Goldo as a rock team rock throw. I, I, you know, I could see it. Meteor combination hits. So mid Goku, the last hope for the Ginyu Force. Um, what are you talking very... about? This is Captain Ginyu. Yes, who is uh, body swapped Captain Ginyu. Yeah. Um, he's coming in with two plus one indignation savior, light body, quick fast attack, launch to support, a Broly's ring, and Chiaotzu AI. Yeah, uh, you could say it's doable. Um, right now, there's no blast stocks on Supreme Kai. Uh, he will get health back from his transformation. And as we said before, Chi Chi, not exactly the tankiest character. I don't think she's on a defense build either, so it's not like she'll be doing a lot of it. Plus, the team's banned from EL because of Supreme Kai, I believe. Ooh, yeah, that, ooh, that is a big hit. Um, Oh, and yeah, it's just this... like last match, we have a uh, underdog coming in against a strong character with about the same health bar difference. Yeah, actually, it is quite similar. That won't work. It worked. It worked. I mean, his BT didn't work, so I guess that's accurate. She's the com she's the self commentator curse. That won't work. <laughs> she says she'll miss her attack and means it'll hit more likely. Exactly. Uh, Chi Chi, by the way, Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, Light Body, Kabito Secret Art, Dragon Power, and Yajirobe AI. Uh oh. Both going back. One will work. Yeah, hers is a sweep, his is a straight beam. It'll get there a little quicker. Yeah, I mean, this could go either way. Uh, both are on Super Builds, so it's only going to take a B2 or 2 difference. And start off with Chi Chi, but if Goku gets one back, like, it'll be quite devastating. It's yeah. Hard to see. And Chi Chi's doing very well, you know. I, I tend not to weigh her too heavily just because oh, past power. performances, but she's doing well. She's max power, and ult I think would do it. She's got plenty of super. Wait, doesn't she call Goku in her ult? Kid Goku, yes. Stay away think, from me! I think that's gonna do it. He has no healing. He can't take any more damage. He needs to get like a oh. spirit bomb and a give me your energy. You yeah, that'll do it. Well done by Chi Chi, by the way. Yeah, Chi Chi only really using like a bar. She only missed one B2, and that's because she got hit while throwing it. Uh, but hit like four B2s there, used her max power mode, did her build right. So, yeah, Mystery Inc. takes it. The the poll was extremely close, 54 to 45, but Mystery Inc. ended up pulling it out uh, as the lower tier or the lower ranking team over the higher ranking team. So so many upsets this week. Yeah, lots of upsets, but that's the point of turn power. And again, only four preliminary weeks, so there's not like a lot to really fully get it out. It's only four matches, so you could say that it doesn't fully do a good job of distinguishing, but it's enough. And yeah, any final remarks, J-Man? Uh, no, just good job, Chi-Chi. Well done. All the teams who won this week, we had some really close matches, and look forward to next week, you know? Yeah, next Probably week, some good ones. Round two. Another elimination week. Every week's elimination week. Um, and also keep an eye out for those who are in the turn power on your Kai uh, builds. Because those will be coming up sooner over later. So with that, this has been it. This has been episode 4 of the Dragon Ball Z League. Season 2022 Tournament of Power Season 2. Playoff Round 1. Bracket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of words I got to think of. And I don't know if I needed to use them all. But they're there. Uh, as always, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be updated when the episodes come out and when the streams go on. And as always, in the link down below, there are links to both the website, which has all the information, dates, and all that, and the Discord, which is, you will also get notifications, and it's just where everybody's at when they're watching these episodes or talking about it. So if you want to get more involved, jump in there, or if you just want to talk to someone about it, get jumping in there. And uh, again, please leave a comment down below on your favorite mode 
from the match today, if you watch the stream from any of the matches, if it's the episode, uh, matches seven and eight. Otherwise, I've been Dorgard. I've been Jay. And we will see you guys next week.